everybody, it's Miss Connie and welcome to Connie Loves Disney. If you love all kind of cool, fun Disney content, you've come to the right place. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. Today we have a really fun day. I went antique hunting and boy did I score some really cool, fun uh, Disney antiques. If you're not aware, I do like to collect a lot of vintage Disney um, merchandise. And where I live now, there is a huge antique, several huge antique malls. And recently I had went to one about a, about, maybe about a month ago. And I was looking for Disney stuff and only found a couple things. And then one of the vendors had mentioned that at another antique mall, um, there was a lady that had all Disney. So uh, me and my friends um, over the Memorial Day weekend, we went there to go check it out. And... Fortunately and unfortunately, um, this lady, um, I did find her, but unfortunately she was um, moving, so she was closing up and everything, but it was a good thing for me because she gave me a really good deal on a whole bunch of antiques, so I want to share those with you, so we'll go ahead and get started. So like I was saying, um, I did luck out in the sense that the lady was uh, closing up shop, so to speak, because she was moving. So she had a lot of stuff um, and she was just trying to get rid of it. So I came on the right day. She actually was loading it into a truck. So she had, was nice enough to like bring a couple of the bins down that had the Disney stuff in it because most of the Disney stuff, unfortunately, had already been sold or she had already taken it up north where she was moving. So um, so I was able to go through a couple of these big Sterilite bins and find a, quite a few things. And so I'm gonna go ahead and share those with you. And the first thing that I found, I just thought these were really cool, um, were some stamps right here. And we've got some different stamps up here. These say um, Turks and, and Caicos, and I've actually been to those islands in the Caribbean. I just thought these were really cool. And then down below, we've got ones, and let me see, they're not really sticking on here right now. So we've got an Artiga, Antigua and Barbados ones. I just thought these were really cool. Um, they have all the, some of the characters on them and things. you see that one here. Here's another one, and this one is like Donald fishing right there. Um, little stamps. I, I did look up some of the stuff that I'm going to show you guys. And most of it is from like the 70s and stuff, 70s and 80s. So they're pretty old and these are in pretty good shape. So I'm going to probably try to adhere them back to this board or just lay them flat down in my glass case that I keep all of my antiques in. I just thought these were really cool. And like I said, I got them for a really good deal. Um, I did see them on eBay, just like a set of like three or four was like $10 and I think I paid like maybe $7 for this whole set of all of these. So a really good deal there. So let me show you the next item. So the next item is this little Mickey Mouse right here. I just thought he was kind of cute. And a lot of these say like, um, they say Disney uh, Japan and things like that or Disney Productions. I just thought he was kind of cute. Um, another one I think from the 70s, a really cute little one, Mickey, right here, just kind of hanging out there on a little pole right there, very cute. One is this little, um, little glass right here, it says uh, Walt Disney Productions right there, very cute. Um, I did see a set of these um, like on eBay for like $20 or something. I only have the one, and like I said, everything that I'm going to be showing you um, she sold it to me for, I paid no more than $5 for each item. So that was a steal. So this is really cute and it's really heavy, nice glass. I do have like a little bar area that I have some other, um, Disney antique, air, um, glassware that I keep on there for looks only. Don't worry, don't really use it, but they do look really cute and those are in my kitchen. So let me show you another item. Next one is like little Gus Gus right here from Cinderella. I just thought he was cute and it says Schmitz on the bottom. So I'm not familiar with if this is how old this is, but it's just really cute. Um, looks like they're all like celebrating or something. Just a cute little um, thing to add to my collections here. I don't have a lot of Cinderella uh, memorabilia, but I just thought he was really cute. This one is this one right here. We've got little Mickey Mouse and he's in like a little sword here. Um, very cute. Cute little Mickey Mouse right there. I just thought it was really cute. Yeah, very cool. Next one is this one right here. 
I thought it was kind of cool. It looked really old. I mean, I know it may not be that old, but I liked it. I thought it was kind of cool. He does have, it does say Mickey Mouse right here. He's got a little umbrella. Things. It does say Japan on the bottom right there. Um, so I'm not real familiar with them. Like I said, I just collect them because I thought they were cool. I'm not into, you know, like flip them or make money off of them. I just thought they were really cool. And like I said, each one was like anywhere from 3 to $5. And I just thought for the price, I couldn't resist. I was just like, I'll take this one. I'll take that one and everything. So really cool looking. So we have a few more. Next one is a Minnie Mouse. And she's on like roller skates right here. Just thought it was really cute. Um, I've never seen Minnie Mouse on roller skates, and I've never seen her in purple and blue. She's always in pink or red and white polka dots. Just thought it was a really cute one right there, and she's on the stand. Very cool, cute little Minnie Mouse. This next item is actually, looks like this. I thought it was a pen, um, but it actually says Disneyland. It does, it is from, I did look this one up. It is from the 1970s, and actually it is a flashlight. And it actually works. I put a couple AA batteries in it. And as you can see, it actually does light up. And it has like the little Mickey Mouse right there. It says Disneyland. I thought it was cool that you get a little flashlight there. Very cool. And like I said, it does look like a pen. It has a little clip right here. Like I was going to clip it. But it's an actual um, flashlight. So very cool looking item there. And like I said, and I was just shocked that it still worked, you know, considering it's from the 1970s and everything. But yeah, it does light up and everything. So really cool. This one is just Mickey Mouse right here. And it says Mickey Mouse right here. And it does say um, Walt Disney kind of along his tushy there. There's Mickey Mouse. And I thought they were cute because like I said, they're very vintage looking. Uh, very cool, different things that I'd never really seen before. And I kind of like this old uh, vintage looking Mickey. Just thought he was really cool looking. He's got the little gold hat. And he's got, it looks like a little cane or something right here. Just very cool looking Mickey Mouse. Very cute. Next one is another little Minnie Mouse. And this one, like I said, she's in a red dress. And I just thought it was cute. She's got a little hand right there. She's got a little picnic basket. Maybe she's gonna go see Mickey or something. Just very cute. It's a little stand. Just a really cute little um, trinket. Very cute, right there. A few more, and this one is actually a salt and pepper set. Um, that was really cute. It's like this was a kind of like 80s. To me, this kind of reminds me of like 80s um, Mickey Mouse. He's kind of got this little retro thing, go 80s look going with the sunglasses and everything. You can see there's where the, the salt pepper would come in. Maybe this is pepper. And then it comes with a little jukebox right there. And it has like the little holes for the salt to come out. It even has the stoppers, which is kind of cool because usually I have, I have another set that I, I found, which is a Walt Disney set, um, old one. And they were missing the little stoppers. So a friend of mine, Cindy, who also goes antiquing with me, found those stoppers for me. So I have that set in my uh, little display case. But I just thought these were cute because they're salt and pepper and my kitchen is red. Um, as you've seen when I showed you, the, if you saw my popcorn uh, display one, I showed part of the kitchen area. Um, but I thought these were really cute. And like I said, these were again, less than like five bucks for the whole, for the set. And you know, you cannot buy Disney salt and pepper shakers for under $5, but just really cute because cute because like I said, it's kind of hanging there with the jukebox and everything. Just a very cute set. And these are really in good condition. I don't see any nicks or anything on them. So just really nice. Okay, so I have about four or five more items. So the next one is a bigger Minnie Mouse. And this one is this one right here. Just really cute. And she's just standing there, you know, all shy, trying to look shy or something. Very cute. She's got the little red dress. She's got a little hat on. Just very cute. And again, they say Disney Japan. So like I said, I'm not sure um, how old this stuff is. If it, you know, if it even is antiques, I'm assuming... You know, she said it was mostly from the 70s and 80s, so, you know, possibly. Um, but even if it's early, later than that, that's okay. I just thought they were really cute. And, you know, I have places throughout my house that I'll be displaying these. I just thought they were really cute. And like I said, for the price, you know, everything, like I said, was like 3 to $5 each. Um, so I have a few more. And I actually did find a Pinocchio one. I'm like, I'm not big on Pinocchio. But I thought it was just kind of cute, you know, I was getting all of them and like I said, just a really cute one too. 
to go and put next to or maybe put it next to my uh, Pinocchio Funko Pops just really cute and again like I said this one says um, Walt Disney production right there so like I said you know if you know antiques and everything uh, you could maybe you know message me or let me know um, what I have here that would be kind of cool like I said I'm not interested in selling them but just like to know you know whether or not I, I think I did get a good deal because like I said everything was like three dollars four dollars um nothing more than five so I'm sure I did get a good deal but I'd just be a little curious to find out you know how good of a deal I did get um so the next one is a like a safari mickey kind of reminds me of um the uh, animal kingdom there at Epcot I mean at Epcot at uh, Walt Disney World but just a really cute one He's look like he's ready or he's bear hunting or something kind of cool he's got a little safari hat and everything just another cute one and like i said this one says disney japan also on it just very cute very cool the last uh, figurine is this little mini mouse right here and she's got a little pink polka dot dress and stuff just very cute she's got her red shoes on this one also says disney japan on it just very cute um, very cool looking so it did quite it had quite got quite a few little statues and then one thing that I did see in her booth that I was gonna pass on it because she wanted like about nine dollars for it but then um, she saw how much I bought she basically you know pretty much just threw it in and I had never seen these before and the reason I didn't want it was because it was torn and it was uh, Mickey uh, paper towels you can see right here it's torn and everything and but they do have mickey on them you can see the mickey print on them on the side right here um i don't know how old these are she said these are from like the 80s or something or 90s um but like i said i didn't want it at first because it was torn but what i think i'm going to do is go ahead and probably just take them out of this package and um like i said if you saw my popcorn bucket one you know it's on top of my um cabinets i have the popcorn buckets maybe just take them out and put them display them in there because they do have it and she did that she did have one that was um but it was already tearing and everything the whole roll was and she had just put some twine around it to display so maybe just do that um take them out and like i said um you can kind of see here if i pull this a little because i'm going to take it out anyways so you can see that there is Mickey right there around it and everything. Just really cute. I'd never seen these, but then again, I probably wasn't looking back then. But I thought they were just really cool. And she did, like I said, these were like originally like $9 for the set. And I think she gave it to me for like 2 or $3 too. So, you know, you can't even buy paper towels, you know, unless you go to the dollar store. But they don't have Mickey on them for that price. Um, so that is pretty much my whole... Um, haul from the um, antique shop um, unfortunately like I said she's you know moved and everything and I she, I did leave her my name and number because she said she had um, sold some stuff to somebody or was holding some for some other person and if they didn't get in contact with her I guess to make payments I think she was going to contact me she never did so unfortunately so probably that person did um, come through and make the payment but like I said, there is a whole bunch of other antique shops um, where I live. So I'll be checking out some other ones. But I think I did really well. Um, I like everything. I guess my favorite thing is probably, you know, I do. I think I think my favorite thing is probably the, um, the stamps here and this flashlight. Just because this reminds me when I was a kid, you know, when you're about to leave Disneyland and they have that little booth there after you walk out and at the last part where they have the um, souvenirs and everything. And you're like, it's the last chance to get something and they always have stuff like this in there. They had the keychains, they had magnets. This is probably where that was and everything. And I just really cool because I like it the fact that it is from the 1970s because I did, like I said, look it up on eBay. And it was from like the early 70s and that it still works. I mean, after all these years, it still works. That to me is awesome. This is really what, probably one of my favorite things at. And like I said, the trading stamps here are really cool. Or these postage stamps are really cool um, because I love the Caribbean. I've been there several times 
and it's just up there so colorful and you know I don't know how old these are but you know if they are pretty old I would assume and they really the colors are still very vibrant so I'm probably going to try to put them in some kind of wrap or something she didn't have it wrapped up or anything so that they don't get messed up you know kind of like see if I can find something on eBay or Amazon that has a way to preserve them so they don't get messed up and everything. So let me know down below what was your favorite item. Um, do you collect Disney vintage antiques? And speaking of that, I actually Mickey loot. You know, you know, you know how I love my Mickey loot. Um, they recently did a themed vintage box, and I did purchase one. So I'm hoping that comes, and maybe you will, I'll definitely open that up, and hopefully we'll get some more vintage items. And I'm going to see where I'm going to put all these throughout my house. I'm going to display them all over. Probably like the salt pepper ones that go in my kitchen and everything. Um, but I'll try to do a video to show you all of that another time. I want to thank you for watching this video. Let me know down below in the comments. Do you like antiques and vintage um, Disney items? And what items do you collect? Or if you like antiquing, I'd love to know that also. And like I said, I want to thank you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And you guys all take care and have a magical day. Bye-bye, everybody.